T2 or T2 is a chain of specialty tea shops established in Australia by Mary Ann Shearer and Jan O'Connor in 1996 and was purchased by Unilever in 2013. Topic: History T2 was co-founded by Mary Ann Shearer and Jan O'Connor. In 1995, they originally registered a homewares company, Contents Homeware. They changed their focus after identifying a gap in the tea shop market, and chose the name T2 to denote the two co-founders, but written as T2. The business has been credited as paving the way for the tea revival, and transforming the tea industry in Australia by educating consumers and championing different flavors and types of tea. Topic Ownership Topic Startup In 1996, Jan O'Connor and Mary Ann Shearer each put in $50,000 to start the company as equal co founders. In T2, the book, Mary Ann Shearer noted that her business relationship with O'Connor deteriorated when she returned to work in March 2000 after having her first child. As relations continue to be strained, an acrimonious legal battle ensued, forcing O'Connor to leave the business. Bruce Crome, Shearer's partner, purchased O'Connor's share in the business at the end of October 2001. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Investment Partnership. In 2007, Mary Ann Shearer and partner Bruce Crome sold 50% of T2 to retail investors Jonathan Dan and Philip Blanco. After disagreements about growth strategies, Shearer and Chrome bought 25% back from Blanco, but Dan continued his investment. Topic acquisition by Unilever Multinational Company Unilever acquired T2 from Mary Ann Shearer and Bruce Chrome in October 2013. As of 2015, Shearer was T2's creative director. In announcing the acquisition, Shearer highlighted Unilever's leading role in adopting sustainable agriculture practices for the tea industry as being a good values fit for T2. T2 had worked with Fairtrade since 2009 on the English breakfast tea blend. The Sydney Morning Herald noted that restaurant owner Michael Ryan reacted to the acquisition news with a tweet describing the company as Unilever's teaserous. In 2017, writer Jane Darcy used the term Unilever Ed to describe the company's shift from being locally Melbourne owned. The purchase price was estimated to be less than $100 million, and was later disclosed as $60 million. Legal services for T2 were provided by Baker and McKenzie and Harris Carlson, with financial advice from Deloitte. Legal services for Unilever were provided by Johnson Winter and Slattery, with financial advice from KPMG. Topic. Outlets and turnover Topic Stores On 1 July 1996, the first store was opened at 340 Brunswick Street, Fitzroy. A second store was opened on Fitzroy Street, St Kilda, but it was closed after 12 months due to low patronage. However, the following year sales increased 20%, which fueled a vision to expand into Sydney. In November 1999, a store was opened in Chadstone Shopping Centre, Australia's premier shopping centre. The store was immediately a success, helping to increase T2's revenue beyond $1 million. In 2002, T2 expanded to Sydney with a store in King Street, Newtown. In 2004, there were six stores in the chain, and by 2005 there were eight stores, 55 team members and a turnover of $4.4 million. In 2006 the turnover was $8 million. In 2008, they moved their operations from Fitzroy to a leased office in the Port Melbourne area. In August 2012, they leased a warehouse at 50 Cyanamid Street in Laverton North. In September 2012, T2 leased a building at 35 Wellington Street in Collingwood, with the intention of relocating the head office to that location. In March 2012, Shearer declared that T2 were being brave in the difficult retail climate by continuing to expand their number of stores. 
In September 2012, the first Tasmanian T2 store was opened in the Cat and Fiddle Arcade, Hobart. In May 2013, a T2 shop was opened at 269 Little Collins Street, Melbourne, after it was vacated by designer Bettina Liano due to rental costs. That same year, T2 opened a store in Cairns Central. In 2014, 18 new stores were opened. Three of the stores opened in London including on Shoreditch High Street and one in New York City. A year later, a fourth London store was opened at 290 Regent Street, in the West End. In 2015, there were over 70 stores in four countries, and around 1,000 team members. In 2017, the first T2 stores were opened in Scotland, 131 Buchanan Street, Glasgow, and in Singapore, the first outlet in Asia. As of November 2017, there are over 96 stores across Australia, New Zealand, the United States and Asia. Topic: <laughs> Wholesale. Towards the end of 1996, O'Connor developed a custom tea blend for Jeff Lindsay's restaurant Stella. The T2 Stella blend was mentioned on the menu, which created a lot of interest from diners. After realizing there was a huge opportunity supplying tea to restaurants, an untapped market, O'Connor created a wholesale division for T2. From mid-2000 T2 was supplying 300 cafes and restaurants in multiple states of Australia. By September that year the number had increased to 400 with a few international accounts. By mid-2001 the number of wholesale accounts had grown to approximately 500. In 2015 there were 3,000 wholesale accounts. <inaudible> <inaudible> Branding The store design is focused on enjoyment in the rituals of tea making, and has been described as a modern version of an old wares store come apothecary. The first store had a pink painted ceiling and Chinese newspapers as wallpaper. The store's interior design is dark and moody, with orange and black as signature colors. T2's signature orange has been analyzed as having vibrancy to appeal to a younger market while retaining simplicity for older tastes, and to imply the color of brewing tea without being murky or brown. The sensory experience includes tea tastings and smelling table. Product displays of the tea ingredients. The design of the first T2 store in Scotland offered a tea fountain constructed from teaware. The ambience of the T2 stores inspired Sunshine Coast author Josephine Moon's debut 2014 novel The Tea Chest. Topic tea blends T2's wide range of blends has been considered reflective of Australians' growing interest in boutique teas. The number of blends or varieties have been variously reported as at least 250 in 2003, over 200 in 2005, about 180 in 2006, 250 plus in 2015, and in 2017, one of their UK stores had over 130 types of tea. Chai teas became popular in 2006 and continued to be one of the three top selling teas for T2 in 2010 until 2006. Seven, all T2 teas were sold as loose leaf, but at the demand of restaurants, they then introduced tea bags made of sheer muslin cloth in a pyramid shape. The tea bags were produced with a purpose built imported machine. In March 2009, in response to the growing popularity of Chinese classic teas, the Perth T2 store launched black tea pu'er in cake form, where previously it had only been selling it as a loose leaf variety. T2 has a special black tea blend with vanilla for their Melbourne home city, Melbourne Breakfast Tea, as well as other cities Brisbane Breakfast with Mango, Sydney Breakfast, and Perth Breakfast. In May 2013, T2 created Hobart Breakfast Tea. The Melbourne Breakfast Tea and Licorice Legs were initially the best selling blends in the Shoreditch London store in 2014, with later top sellers being London Breakfast and Earl Grey Royale. 
Flush Darjeeling was so popular as to merit a waiting list. In 2016, they introduced the Veggie Patch Limited Edition Loose Tea range based on vegetables including carrot, ginger, and turmeric, green tea and spinach, apple, kale and ginger, and rooibos, beetroot, and broccoli. A limited edition collection of chai teas was released in 2017, with blends tasting of popcorn, sticky honey, or honeycomb chai, in line with the first store opening in Singapore. In 2017, T2 created Singapore. Poor breakfast tea, evoking kaya toast with a blend of pu'er, green tea, coconut flakes and roasted rice. That same year the Scots breakfast tea was created, being a blend of a robust black tea base, oats, cocoa husks, vanilla, cinnamon and sweet caramel notes. Topic. Controversies Topic. Documentation of co-foundership Articles in 1997, 1998 and 2000 confirmed that T2 was co-founded by Jan O'Connor and Mary Ann Shearer. Following Jan O'Connor's departure in October 2001 an article on the history of T2 in the Sydney Morning Herald did not mention co-founder Jan O'Connor's role in the company, but discussed Shearer's focus on educating tea drinkers about high-quality black teas. A 2008 article on female tea doyens in the age profiled Shearer as T2's founder, and at the helm of the business. Minus her original business partner. Articles in 2010, 2011, 2012 and 2013, incorrectly described Shearer as the sole founder of the company. In 2016, Shearer was listed as founder, T2T, in a featured book chapter, but acknowledged that the company began with a business partner. After the publicity around Unilever's acquisition of the brand, Jan O'Connor spoke out in a 2014 article in the Australian Financial Review. O'Connor said she felt she was being written out of T2's corporate history while Shearer financially benefited from the business sale. <laughs> Topic. T Master Role After working for T2 from 2002 to 2005, former T2 T sommelier and now T seller, TJOK GDE Kurdyasa, has described himself as T2's first and last tea master topic <inaudible> accidents at storefronts in december 2013 a ford falcon sedan crashed through the front window of the hobart store but the driver did not incur serious injuries in february 2017 two men fighting each other fell through the window of the cheltenham store and were both injured by the broken glass Topic. Awards Co-founder Mary Ann Shearer received the Verve Clicquot Businesswoman of the Year Award in 2012. The Shoreditch, London store was designed by Australian-based Landini Associates. It won the Store of the Year in the Retail Design Institute's 2014 International Design Competition. Landini Associates also redesigned T2's corporate headquarters in Collingwood, which was a silver winner in the Interior Design – Corporate category in the 2014 Melbourne Design Awards. In 2015, Christopher Stanko's T2T Cotton Teabags designs ranked as a finalist in the Australian Packaging Design Awards – Beverage category. In December 2016, Metza Board's packaging design for T2's Mini Fruit Tea range won a Merit Award at the 28th Hong Kong Print Awards – Paper Packaging category. The design also won the limited edition category in the D-Line Awards 2017. In the same year, they won an IF Design Award beverages packaging category. Topic. Book In 2015, Shearer published T2, the book, which discussed the company's history, profiled different types of tea and recommended teacups and brewing techniques. In February 2016, Kristen Drush's book review in Library Journal highlighted the unique, artistic details of the design, and considered it to be
less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 more than just an advertisement for T2. The book was designed by EVO and was a category winner for the Australian Book Designers Association's Best Designed Fully Illustrated Book under $50 in 2016.